Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. It's time for another dilution and more page. So uh, this time I want to put some gesso on it. I never use gesso on these pages. I just don't feel it's necessary. But now I want to do some more finger painting like I did in my previous video or the video before that. And um, so I think let's just put some... Oh, will it work? I'm just gonna put a bit of gesso on here. Now this is uh, not the best gesso, but I still have this. I've had this for ages and I keep saying this is not the best gesso. As you can see. <coughs> but it works. It still works, guys. So I've got some paper and let's just gesso this. So what am I going to do? I want to use my hexagons again. Oh, I think I should, it would have been better if I had put some water Mix the gesso with a bit of water, but I didn't. Oh well. It's a nice start of my video. Well, it works. You just have to work a bit harder. And I'm not gonna mix it again, am I? No, I'm not. Do you do stuff like that? That you say, I should use uh, a bit more water and then you just don't. <laughs> I'm very good at that. <laughs> anyway, I'm just putting a bit of gesso on here and uh, we'll just find out what parts did have gesso on it and what part doesn't um and you get just really nice texture because the paint is gonna react different on the part that's been gessoed and on the part that just didn't didn't get any gesso <laughs> oh boy oh well um right so i want to make something like a flower garden oh boy i really i really did miss a lot you know what i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it like this I'm just gonna do it. So uh, I tried the gesso. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I missed quite a lot of spots. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. Okay, I took out some paints. What shall I do? I want some blue. So just uh, bright blue or my favorite, uh, Calypso Teal. That's a bit more green. Um, and then maybe some green or on the over here because it's gonna be a garden. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. Um, I might use a bit of pink to a bit of orange. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna start with uh, with shaking the blue and the green. Um, I don't know. Let's just start some blue and let's finger paint. <laughs> Okay, that then that's with gesso. Um it all uh how do you say that? Uh you know that I find that these little bottles are a bit yeah, they're not as uh creamy as the oh my gosh, as these things. <laughs> these <laughs> um and you always get weird spots. Well, that's what's happening now, but that's because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's just do one page first. You know what? I, I want brighter colors. So I thought this would be nice and smooth because uh, the, the background is a bit more nice and smooth. But uh, it isn't. Look at it. I mean, now this is nice. I can mix it a little bit and it turns purple I like this this I like okay a bit orange so this is completely not what I planned <laughs> Ooh. completely not what I planned but oh well who cares you that's so bright mix it up a little so uh yeah this is not a uh, green grass for a flower garden <laughs> no it's not oh i like mixing the the orange look at that so i'm gonna put a little bit more oh no a lot more over here let's put that over here that's a completely different color it's too much Oh, but I like this. I like mixing this stuff. Look at it. So yeah, it turned out a bit different than planned. 
now everything is on fire. <laughs> Let's put this a little bit to the side because there's a lot of paint on here. But it's, it is awesome. It is awesome. So can I try that a bit on this side as well? It won't be the same, of course. But I'm just going to try. Uh, I'm going to take a different <laughs> finger because... Uh, I still have, uh, I clean my fingers in between, but just on a tissue, so there's lots of paint on my finger still. Okay. <laughs> but you know what, This uh, I thought this would be nice and smooth, just like the creamy and nice smooth background, but uh, yeah, it turned out uh, different, but I do love it. You don't get this without gesso, so actually I shouldn't have gessoed, maybe. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm gonna do in the upper part of the sky. But I do like the way this looks. This might be smeared out a bit more. A bit of this over here, a bit of this over here. And then a bit of orange again. And a bit purple, because I love purple. Well, and the fun part of this is you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> I am loving this. So the question is, am I going to put a bit of green in here as well? Because this was supposed to be the grass. <laughs> like I said, it's more like it's on fire now. <laughs> Which I do love. Okay, you know what, I'm just going to put a bit of green in here. I want a bit brighter green. Do I? I don't know. I'm just a little bit of green. What's going to happen? Well, it's going to be green now for my purple. Hmm, okay, this is weird. <laughs> Well, isn't it, um, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's art. I think it's art. Let's try a bit of blue again. Um, well, it is, cre it, it is creative and it is, uh, it looks very artsy. But I was going for a smooth page, so <laughs> it didn't really work. <laughs> so, wait, the background took a long time, but... It is so fun to do, guys, even though it's totally not what I expected, you know, how that went, how that goes. It is awesome. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna... It is weird, but I like it. So now I'm gonna go over this with... I'm gonna leave this to dry. And then I'm gonna stamp some flowers. It looks more like mountains than, than a garden now. Am I going? No. I thought maybe I could put some green under underneath. No, I'm gonna leave it like this. I, it's weird and I like it. So I'm gonna dry this and uh, this I'm gonna do off camera. I'm gonna stamp... Where am I going to leave this? Over here for now. I'm going to stamp some... Uh, and I need to clean my hands. Um, right, some flowers. Let's just see what I have. This is a bit too big, I think. Um, hmm. Or is it? This is a really nice flower. I can use this as a flower. And maybe this is some leaves. So normally I would stamp leaves, but now I'm going to stamp this as a leaf. So I need quite a few of these. One, two, three, six or eight. <laughs> and... Um, this has a flower, okay. Is there something else nice? A little one has a flower, it has flowers on it. And, well, maybe that's that's gonna be it, actually. So this is very, yeah, 
artsy. And then here you have really, really straight lines. I think I'm gonna like that. You know what? I'm going to start with stamping lots of these. Um, uh, I need to color them in, of course, or I can leave them white. But I think I'm just gonna give them one color and then add one little um, accent of a different color. I don't know yet. I'm gonna try this, stamp lots of these, and then I'll get back to you. Oh, by the way, I ended up using Laidback Lilac, Clips, no, Blue Hawaiian, and Mushy Peas, and also Pure Sunshine. And there you get this. And of course, Bubblegum Pink, favorite. <laughs> so, I've got all of these. And now the question is, how am I going to color these? Well, with markers, okay. But what color? <laughs> So guys, uh, I had a whole segment of me coloring this, but I'm gonna edit it out. So now you just see these. These are uh, watercolors, very cheap by the Action, and they're amazing, but uh, I don't like it with this. So I am going to get my um, alcohol ink again. But now I have one less of these. Alcohol markers, I mean. Wow, this is going well. Okay, I'm gonna get my alcohol markers. Okay, so I've got alcohol markers now and I stamped this one again because uh, I need three of them. Let's let's see what I can do. So shall I just leave... I'm gonna leave the background white. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna color the flowers. So uh, I'm just gonna do one or two on camera. Oh, I need this color, my favorite. Oh, I like it. And then I'm gonna do the rest off camera. So this is gonna be... Yeah. I wanted to say yellow, but whoa, this is bright. So, you know, I'm just gonna color a few. I might speed this up a little bit, but the rest I'm gonna do off camera because it might take a while. Now this one, I'm first, first I'm gonna leave the, back, uh, the background white. I can always come in with color once uh, I put it on the page and maybe think, meh, this is not it. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Uh, it's gonna all be yellow. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, the rest I'm gonna do off camera. Wait, I need to do the middle. It's gonna be green. Um, yeah. So I'm going to do these and leave the background white. I'm just going to use one or two colors in here. I want this to be very uh, simple because this is there's so much going on over here so I want to keep these simple I think I'm not sure yet so uh, see you in a second and then all of this and this one will be colored and also cut out I'm gonna fussy cut them so see you in a second okay so I colored all of them in and uh, it's gonna be something like this mm. I also have this uh, quote I like long walks away from people <laughs> so nice. So I might put this one over here. First I want to um, see what I'm gonna do for the stems. So I've got this one. It fell off one of my sets. I don't know which set. Oh, this one falls off as well. I got some... I might stamp a few of these over here. Um, right. I've got these. Oh, I only have this as a stem. Okay. <laughs> or I can use these. But it has to be really black and it probably won't. So I can do this one and put a flower on top. No, that's actually a bit stupid. You know what? I'm going to stamp lots of these. I'm going to use a really thin block because then I can push a bit harder. Um, right, can I do that with memento ink? Is it black enough or should I use my archival ink? Um... You know what, I'm just gonna first gonna try my memento ink. So I'm gonna ink it up real good and I'm just going to stamp all of these. Oh there's a dot under here. <laughs> the first one is not gonna work. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> of course there are dots, lots of dots. So oh, well. Maybe it's fun like this. So a bit more over here. I'm just gonna stamp all of it. It's not really very black, is it? Let's try this one. Oh, 
but I always have difficult difficulty stamping. Um, it just doesn't really want to go. Well, this is a bit darker. It doesn't really want to go the way I want it to. Somehow I don't have the strength anymore to really stamp nice dark images. But I do like this effect. That's a happy coincidence again. I really do like that. You know, you plan on making really bold black stamps and black prints and then it just isn't really completely covered. And I do... Look at it. I mean, I have a bit trouble with words today, but look at these. I like it. I think I like it even better than when it was... Um, ah! Okay. <laughs> my ink fell out of my hands and now there's ink everywhere. Um, it looks better than it would when it uh, would have been completely black. My gosh, words are difficult today. Okay, I like this. So now I can do a few of these little ones. Just a little bit higher. Let them stick out. Like this. I like that. I'm not sure if this is gonna dry very well, but we'll find out. Okay, I do love this. So now, how am I going to put the flowers in here? I think I still might need to put them in here with a little stem. I do have this block. Well, this is a nice little stem, isn't it? Let's just try it. So I need to dry this first. And I have a feeling that this is going to take a long time to dry. So I have to be careful not to smudge it. Um, I can get my kitchen roll if I know where it is. Let's see. Oh, nope, that's Hello Kitty. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay. It doesn't really smudge. Nice. Okay, so I can put the flowers where I want them. I still think they might be just a bit too bright. Where are all the flowers? Where did they go? <laughs> Here they are. I think it's too white. It's too bright. It is. But I can try and stamp the stamps. Stamp the stamp, stamp, stamps. You know what I mean. So there's a long stem over here for this one. And there's a stem over here for this one. If you see it. I'm not even sure if you're gonna see it, but oh well. And one for this one. Okay. And then the little ones. <laughs> How am I going to do this? <laughs> okay, first things first. I'm gonna color the color uh, these. Give them a bit of color. I think it's too white. So just light, light, light blue or light green. Light blue. I'm gonna use blue. Let's see what that does. Ooh, I like it. Okay guys, so I fussy cut everything and it's quite a lot. <laughs> so I think it's too bright. Uh, I might, uh, I want to sponge the edge and I might sponge it with a bright color or with black. So I'm just gonna start with a bright color. So uh, let's see how that looks. It always looks better. When you when you sponge it, it's better. You just need to sponge. Look, that's just way better. It is. So, question is... <laughs> um, first let me... I took out some green and some orange. I can also put some of this over here. Because why not? always a lot left on the sponge so you can use it over and over again. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sponging! <laughs> okay, that's already better, but I think I'm gonna use some black for the little one. So what I do is just cut off a bit of these. You can also clean them under the tab with some water, but uh, these are still 
a bit. The older ones, these are crumbling a lot. So these are just for one use and then I'll just throw them out. Okay, so I sponged them all. And you know what? I really want to do a border around it, but now I'm not sure. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. So I need to... Um, my hands are all <laughs> covered in ink. Um, right, I need to glue these down. Let's just start with gluing some of them. And then, of course, I need to stamp uh, the stems for the little ones. The little ones. <laughs> now this one is going to go over here. Like that. Not to think about it too much, just glue it on. Which is always a bit hard for me. Oh, but it does need to fit, of course. This one over there. Weird flowers. <laughs> and this one over here. And then, of course, these. How am I going to do these? This one over here. I'm not even sure what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to glue it like this. And then this one. <laughs> yeah, might not have been the best way, but oh well. So this one is going to go a bit more over here. Well, so far, I hope so good. I hope this is nice. I have no idea. We'll find out. I can also do the quote. And then I have to find a spot for the little ones. Away from people. Okay, once I glued it on, it, it looks better now. I wasn't sure about it. <laughs> okay. So where am I going to do these? It is kind of cute. Maybe this is a bit too much. Maybe I should just do a few of them. I really like these. So, this is where I am now. And um, I really like it. Of course, this needs to be fussy cut. Um, but... Um, I think I'm going to um, maybe do a border still around it. I'm not sure, but I want to make this a bit darker. So I'm going to take these off again and just stamp a lot of these over here. Make it, but they need to be really dark. <laughs> that just doesn't work. <laughs> I can do this. I can stamp on my sheet and make it really dark but I want to make the bottom a bit darker okay that does look a bit better so now I need to clean this <laughs> I need to make stems so where did I have them one over here one a bit more over here, something like this. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm not sh even sure if you're gonna see, oh, if you're gonna see this. This one doesn't want to stay on anymore. Okay. Why doesn't it work? There's gonna be one over here. You won't even see this one. <laughs> and just, you know, for show, one over here. You don't even see it. Oh well. So let's glue everything on. And then let's uh, come back in with my pen. And then it's finished. I think. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay. And the last one. It is a bit busy, isn't it? <laughs> okay. But... Now I'm going to cut everything to size, because this does look a bit weird. <laughs> okay, but this will look better, I hope. This does look better, but it is a bit, bit much, isn't it? So I think I'm going to 
try to make this darker if this will work no it won't so i need something else yeah but this one is uh, will this work nope doesn't work i always have trouble with this i mean the pink pen doesn't work and the normal pen doesn't work and what does work I always have trouble with white pens and black pens. Do you have the same? Let me know. <laughs> okay, I'm still not... It's still not what I want. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go around it uh, with my... This little edge. Just over here. And over here. You won't see this, will you? No, you won't. Because the pen doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe I should use a pencil. Uh, I'm just gonna do it. I wanted to leave the sky uh, without a border, but I'm just gonna do it. Because over here, at least you'll see it. <laughs> so, oh well. Okay, I do like it. I do like it. I like a border. So let's try some dots and then see what happens. Because it's, it's just... Wait, wait. Maybe something like this. I'm just going to stamp a leaf over... Well, over this. And one over here. Yeah, that doesn't really work either. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, I do like it, but I think these are just a bit too much of a triangle. Now, that's, of course, the whole <laughs> meaning of this. They are triangles, but I am going to put a yellow dot over here, which is stupid. Okay, over here. I like that one. And a pink one over here. And I don't have a yellow one anymore. take this one over here and a pink one over here okay I do like this so shall I do something with these as well just a little dot is that weird <laughs> yes it's weird but I'm gonna do it anyway so little dots Well, you know what? I kind of like it now. I wish I could. I had something to make. I'm just gonna go around it. Make it a bit like the center of a flower. I think that'll make it a little bit better. They just don't look like flowers to me. That's because they're triangles, but um, <laughs> it's getting better. I'm almost there. I'm going to try this. This is a big brush and I'm just going to try it. Well, that doesn't work either. Okay, this one, this is a brush brush. Oh, ooh, look, this is what I wanted. I just, this is just what I wanted. I mean, that's not much. <laughs> yeah, now I like it. It's still a very weird page, but I do like it better. So uh, I am going to try to put a real small line over here. And that's and just a little oh, uh, up here a little bit. So the bottom part is a bit darker than the rest. Let it fade out a little. Can I let it fade out a little? Where? This is better. And now for the final touch. Uh, this is an aqua marker, but I just want a bit of shadow over here. Ah, that's what it needed. A 
although I just <laughs> did it on the paper instead of next to the paper. Does the flower need that? I'm just gonna do it. So this, uh, like I said, it's just an aqua marker, uh, a very cheap one from the Action, and it just makes it pop a little bit more. Now this is better. This is what I want. I can do it around here, but I want this to be a bit light, a bit flat, <laughs> and then make this pop a little. So it's still a weird page. It's a busy page. Uh, but I like busy weird pages. I could go over this with white a little, but I want this to be darker. So yeah, I think I, <laughs> I think it's finished and it's weird, but I like it. What do you think? Now over here, I just think there are too many triangles and um, but they're already glued on, so I can't fix it anymore. I do like this, especially with a shadow around it now. And I do like these, but these should have been maybe three. I don't know, but it's on here and uh, I think I can fix it quite nicely. What do you think? <laughs> so let me show you up close. Look at it. My gosh, that's awesome. And I do love, look at the colors. My gosh, it looks like a sunset. I don't know what it is, a mountain or maybe grass or maybe a sunset. I don't know. <laughs> and I like long walks away from people. It's so nice. <laughs> So uh, I hope you liked the video. I think it's been a bit of a long video, but I just didn't know what to do for a while. But just keep going, guys. If you don't know what to do, just keep adding stuff. And most of the time it gets better. Sometimes it gets worse. But I think in this case it got a little bit better. <laughs> so I would love to know what you think about the page. And you know the drill. would love a thumbs up. Here it is. If you like it. And uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I have a creative video every Monday now. And uh, an Alice in Wonderland video every Saturday. So... I hope you like that. And that's it for today. All that's left to say is... Groetjes uit Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.